colors. Sometimes it ignites our mind and brain's neurotransmitters. Beautiful it is. Flowing along with it itself is an adventure. I remember how I used to play with it. In my art classes, we kids fade with it. Sat together and filled all those painting books. But never ever compared each other on our skin color or on our looks. As kids, it was easy to judge. We knew only good and bad people. And then we grew up to adults, superiors, owners and caretaker of moral steeples. Things changed, you know. Now we discriminate each other on the basis of caste, creed, color, and even sometimes on how much our skin glow. It is easy thus to cultivate hatred in you. Our heart just need a spark and it spreads like a flu. I can't breathe, that is what he said. But his color could breathe discrimination and hatred. He paid a price we, we can't explain. Throw him in a jail or arrest him to hell. But hatred towards color is worse than your addiction to cocaine. Mama, Mama, his words sounded crystal clear. My stomach hurts, my neck hurts, everything hurts. But they cheered. That knee on his neck choked him well. It wasn't the knee that killed, it was the hatred that gifted him. Farewell. We all have our versions of good and bad, right? A version of likes and dislikes we own. We have right to hate and love others. But exhibit your feeling in private or make a tone. With your dealings and wishes inside your head. Cause taking away someone's life for your selfish thought is dread. People have their loved ones waiting home for them. Later your anger or your repentance can never make even a grain-sized sense. Colors Colors have always fascinated me. Maybe it did to God too. He colored the trees, mountains and stone. When he made man, he painted them white, black and brown. He made us to love each other, but we made reasons to hate too. When we run out of thoughts to dislike someone, we can choose topics to ruin the human race too. I swear then, there are no gates to rescue. The feelings will put us down and our societies will turn a curfew. Hatred leads us to a point of destruction and poor victims' pain will raise even more aggression. Worried are you about your future generation? Well, you need to be. We humans are in a pathetic condition. Now, love and care is an old-fashioned thought. Our good teachings sadly all ended up in naught. But we still have hope. Don't you worry. There are still people with heart working and teaching others, taking care of needy, irrespective of their religion, caste, creed and color. Everyone will breathe. Everyone will breathe. Everyone will be an achiever. For that, teach yourself and kids the importance of being a giver, to be an ambassador of love and care to all. Then no one will die the death of hatred. No one will ever be discriminated. Take pride in caring for your religion, color, 
caste and race undoubtedly take pride in caring for your religion color caste and race prior to all this just accept you belong to the human race you belong to the human race